Hey guys, what's up? Um, sorry for the for the hair. <laughs> I just woke up. Uh, I've been I've been trying to comb it. I, this is like my this is like take four or five trying to get it together. It's not that long enough to put in a ponytail yet, but uh, I'll get there. Um, I wanted to make this video about uh, my charts. I, a long time ago, no, no, in 2010, I had made a similar similar video to this where I uh, explained my charts of what I do and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do it again here eight years later. It all started with uh, me wanting to uh, do it, uh, make charts for myself because I'd I'd sit there and 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 play and all that kind of stuff and I'd 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 want to see um, I'd search the internet for for very specific things I wanted to see and I really didn't understand that much. Yeah, you gotta understand like uh, at that time I was already playing in 2010 I was already playing playing for maybe six years, maybe six years, seven years. Uh, and it really didn't still, I still sucked as a player, you know, uh, but it was still a growing thing. I was still trying to figure out what I needed, needed to do to grow as a player. So I decided to make these charts for myself. A uh, little backstory. I was, I'm going to, I'm going to post a, a link to the old video where I was in Texas and I, I, I lived out there for, for a year and, uh, there was nothing to do. Just me and my bass guitar, and I worked at Walmart for a year, and it sucked. Um, and uh, uh, I don't know. I just I just started making these things for me, and and it turned out it snowballed into the, oh, I'm gonna make a scale book. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna you know this big dream of it. And uh, the old school versions were like terrible. I used to. Uh, I didn't make them on grid paper or anything like that. I'd I'd print out. Uh, there was this this website called the Base Cipher or something like that. They made fretboard um, little charts or little little uh, fretboard things. It's called Cipher or something, and I'd I'd I print those out for like ten cents for for ten of them or something like that, and I'd get those and I'd I'd and then people later on would ask, why don't you just get um. Why don't you just get a uh, uh, a grid paper? But I was hard headed. I I didn't the the way they look now are are not uh, how they used to be. So I uh, I did the originals, and then later on, I'm like, man, I, I need to change the format. I want to do it, and I got into the computer, and I um, I redid the original. Though I still remember, I had a thousand excuse me a thousand four hundred and eighty eight scales. And I'm talking like the little shape, right? The little octave shape that you see, that's what I had. So I'd draw that and I'd count each and every single one and I had everything separated, five, six, seven, eight, nine tone scales. Even though I had like other ones. Uh, and then I would, um, I, 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 um, when I first started, I put every, posted everything on a photo bucket. Everything and it's still everything is still there. Photo bucket, like a lot of my old work, is all still there. And I don't even know if I can get onto it yet. I haven't. It's been a long time. So that happened. I redid the the the, the original chart. Started made my Facebook, made my Twitter, made all that stuff. I, I wasn't on Instagram for until maybe I Instagram's new. That's like two, three years ago. Uh, and. And after that, it finally took some traction. People started liking my stuff. I, I used like the Facebook ads and all that to gain, you know, I guess, uh, views and all that kind of stuff. And, it, and it, it worked, you know what I mean? It worked. But it's like, you know, in the end, it's like, uh, it really wasn't that organic. And, but it's like people, if you run a page, you know demo, the Facebook suppresses like views and all that kind of stuff for the people who like your, your stuff. So it's like, it, it doesn't matter anymore, you know. Uh, I'm basically making this video because it's like, I, I basically told everybody, I, it's not that I gave up on writing stuff, it's just that I, I don't, uh, you guys don't understand, for seven years I would sit here every day and I'd write charts, I'd write them by hand. 
I'd sit here and just keep on writing and writing and writing every day. And I, like if I was, like if I if I had to, like if OCD style, like I have to make this every day. I got to make a chart every day. You know what I mean? For what? It wasn't for me. I wasn't practicing. I wasn't sitting there, um, uh, you know, studying them or anything. I just, you know, I just went around and 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 posted stuff just just for it's like mindless work you know and later on you find it but right now i i kind of want to go back to something uh when i had first started i wanted to make a a the i'd always find like scale books would be like because when i find that whole year i'd focused on understanding the fretboard and i knew what i was looking for and and and, and yeah, how i wanted to uh to show things right so my whole big deal was I wanted to have the biggest collection on the internet, right? Biggest collection on all the scales. Most of them. Because I'd, I'd find a book, like the Grimoire. I don't know if you can see it. I, I still have mine right here. And I went through it. I'm like, well, these are like the same scales. This scale lives in here. And like, like why do I need to make this? And, and, and like, there's a lot of little things, right? Why do I have to put them every key if it's the same shape, you know, type of deal? And then I'd find... I'd go on uh, generators. Uh, you go on like scale core generators on the internet. There's a there were a lot back then. There probably still is, but people don't. I don't think I'm not sure if people still use them. I think everything's apps now or whatever. And uh, so I I would collect scales like uh, the formulas. I would collect their formulas, uh, just the numbers one, three, four flat fifth you know stuff like that and it'd be like that just the one whatever tone it was that string and i'd collect it and i'd write it down so i was like in a sense i would go to the generators and i'd steal all the formulas They're like I'm like, I'm like oh i have this i have this scale i have this this scale already so it was just a weird name so if there's a weird name i've never seen before i'd, I'd take that formula and write it down and make a big old list then i'd went to later on i went to apps and I've been doing that for what? Like I said, seven years. Two years ago, I just got, you know, things got, just, you get tired of it. I'm like, I don't want to do this every day. And, uh, uh, and then pretty soon you start seeing, you start seeing like other pages or other things with scales and everybody else has their nice looking scales and, and all this like, man, I'm, I'm doing this for a long time. I'm like, where am I? people like the nice and pretty looking things you know and I, I always sat there I'm like man I used to do this crap by my by hand you know what I mean I didn't use a computer or a gen <clears throat> or a generator or a program to make it I did it by hand you know and I I guess that was the the selling point of mine that I that that these were the 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 biggest collection the most that you've never seen you know but I don't think I've ever gotten that out to people because it was it's harder to do you know and then my website and all that kind of stuff the website was was a big thing and now it's just like i haven't even checked my website i'm not even sure if people are actually looking at it or if it's getting views it's just say that it's, it's where it's at the only crappy part is i'm actually paying for it so i i, I should i should look for it i should look into it but uh i think everything's up to date uh, so in the end, I think what I wanted to make, make sure people understand is that, uh, if, if you have something that you want to see or some, if you have something you want to see different or you want to make something different or you want your own spin on it, the only way is to just dive head first into it. You have to just go for it. You do whatever you, whatever it is you do. Maybe you have your own guitar scales and you want to see them a certain way. Let's put it like the, the example is, let's say you have guitar scales and you want to see them a certain way. You want to see different colors. You, you have to do it. Whether by hand, uh, a computer, or whatever, you have to do it and you have to keep on doing it. And you got to keep on doing it until you get good at making it and, and you just keep on doing it. And if you want to share it, share it. If you don't want to share it, don't. But that's how you're gonna. That's how you're gonna get. You know. Uh, that's how you're gonna get something. You, you, it's not gonna come to you. It's not gonna. Someone's not gonna hand it to you. You have to go and get it and do it yourself. If you know, that, that, if that's really really what you want, 
because sometimes you would be like me and I'm, oh, I just want to make these scales for me. Yeah, yeah. And then later on you get blind and, and I'm just making them for everybody else. I'm making them for likes. I'm making them for, for you know, views. And it's, it, gets, it gets ugly. And the one thing I needed to do was actually sit and play my bass to actually get something from. And, and, and the funny part is I'd always play my bass but, and practice, but that still didn't do nothing. You know what it was? Writing music, you know. I started writing music, best thing ever. And I'm probably going to play right now after this video. Well, I got to edit it like a million times because I, because you're going to tell it's choppy as hell. <laughs> but, uh, but thanks guys, whoever really, you know, who's really into following my stuff for so long and, and I'm going to, I'm going to get back into it. I'll, when I'm not lazy, give me, give me a couple months, man. And I'll, and I'll start doing these things because honestly I am getting bored <laughs> and, and, uh, and I'll start posting again. And, uh, um, yeah, remember my uh, my my charts and all that stuff. Go check out my uh, my website. Have everything have everything nice and uh, sorted out. They're supposed to be the scales you've never seen. You can be used for guitar, or bass, whatever. You you won't find them anywhere else. You you'll see them somewhere else. You know what I mean? But mine are mine are just a teeny little bit. There's that little there's that little. They got the little magic to them, man. By hand. Uh, um, was meticulously everything is is moved a certain way. Or it looks a certain way. You know, it's not a program. I don't know what else. How else could I sell them? I don't. I really don't know. I, I suck at that. But I appreciate you guys. Um, uh, let me know what you. If you got anything to tell me, ask me. If you want to see a scale or a chart, just hit hit me up. I'm always here. Peace out, guys. I love you.